So I, I hate to interrupt your brother's reading and stuff like that, but uh, we were talking about this book that, uh, well, Brother Ati's, uh, you know, I can't get it back from him, you know, just for my studies, Brother Ati, I got to take it back, I got to get you another time. At any rate, uh, you was talking about uh, the the guy that betrayed the closest, closest but you have another guy. Uh, uh, yeah, but you also were saying that, well, well, you know, Zulu's betrayed, and but Zulu's a man of closer. Uh, what's going on? I'm just trying to figure this out. You know, well, what, what what were you saying, man? about this? Because the Zulu, the Zulus were beaten up by Tosa people, so now they are still mad because they, they their forces were beaten up by Tosa forces, and then they only left two. Uh, I heard the story from the old person from here. They were beaten up by the Tosa forces, so they only left two guys to go and report the mess. <laughs> and you were saying something like, well, Shaka, you know, everybody reveres Shaka. Well, not everybody, but I mean, the people outside of, of South Africa, other places in the world, especially. According the to our history, mm -hmm. Shaka was not supposed to be Zulu chief or king, whatever. He demanded, the, the, and actually, he was helped by some, by the mother, because he was an illegitimate child to the king of the Zulus. Mm. And he won. And he left and stayed all by himself, being the king now of the Zulus. Mm. Leaving the real kings, the sons of... Uh, Tingan? No, the sons of uh, Tingan, the father of Tingan. Oh. Yeah. So they were... The, Tingan was supposed to be the chief of the Zulus after his father died, according to our history. Hmm. Yeah, but then now you, uh, but I guess since you're, like you said, since Shaka didn't defeat you, I guess you can write the history. He you, came you around here being sent by the, the, the Boers. Hmm. Not even the Boers, uh, because they're English, as according to our history, the English people couldn't land on the eastern side from the western cape upwards to the, because the Tosas were staying along the beach of the, the beaches of this uh, 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 yeah this area oh you in coastal see, coastal land they were staying mm -hmm. the coastal so they uh, always saw these boats coming and waited for somebody coming in there and they gave them the, 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 the what do they call this, uh, <laughs> Noptiris. Because <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> the process were using Noptiris and Asagais. Mm. Mm. Yeah, but they say the Asagai, the small spear, was developed by Shaka. No. No, it's a lie. It's a lie. First people to, 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 to develop uh, Asagai is a closer person. Well, that's what we are being told. We were not there. We know nothing about this. But what uh, my old man and uh, my, my grandfather, grandfather told me. You see, our history has been passed through us by telling us, not written down. So the truth is the one who's coming from the dragon's mouth more than the truth that is written down by the people who don't know your history. That's why I, I can get what that we, too. We, we get into because our history, you don't get closer history, mm. not at all. You only get more of the Zulu history. Mm. Of the Zulu nature, mm. nation history. Ah. But the crosses you don't get much because all the South Africa, the, 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 the crosses chiefs mm. didn't. You know, they couldn't get closer to the, to the, to the closer chiefs mm. Mm. until uh, Christianity, where these missionaries came in. Well, that's what we're talking about right now. You have that missionary yeah, book right until there. Until these missionaries came in, then they propped us with this uh, Religion. religions of Jesus, God, and all that stuff. Mm whatever I'm doing and some of us took it so high that we even teach our own kids about because God. poison and that's how these people got in more and more to the Eastern Cape mm -hmm. right. I didn't know it.
missionary which was right there. There is a church right on top of this. Uh, oh, Piri yeah, Piri Mission. What's it called? Piri Mission. Piri Mission. Piri Mission. Piri Mission. Piri Mission. Yeah. Piri Mission. Spell, Just spell it. That role. Spell it. P-I-R-I. P-I-R-I. P-I-R-I-E. P-I-R-I-E. Piri Mission. Mm. Mm. It's just across here, the top of the before you reach this right on the other side of the main road here. Mm -hmm. There you go down there. There was a missionary, I understand, which was during the this war, the English war, and the Kosa people around here, why Debenek. You know what Debenek is? When you go around here, going to Debe. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there was a war before. I don't just can't remember the year between the Corsairs and the British people, which the people the, the Corsairs came from that mountain down yeah, to the, the yeah. Was and the Yeah, the British people had their holes in the digging holes. Mm. Mm, yeah. Mm, mm. Then I understand that missionary didn't like this. And he spoke to the guys and he told them, "This is Corsa land. Please go away. Leave these people with their lands." Mm. Well, that is some uh, something which we, you know, as we, I heard from another old man, which uh, we were just. No discussing about this land about uh, around. We, we'll talk about these missionaries and stuff like that. It's interesting thing. I, I, I saw someplace something like that. Some um, somebody uh, there was a, a somebody living with uh, an you know a, a primal person, a autochthonous person, a, a so-called native person, and then and the and the and they was they were trying to tell a native about Jesus, right? And so the guy says, "Okay, look." Basically, I'm just shortening. The guy says, okay, do you know this person, Jesus? And the guy says, no, 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 you don't understand. Jesus, like 2,000 years ago, blah, blah, he's doing all this stuff, you know, trying to explain to this, you know, this um, mm. a person from the land. So talk to this person, what's, what's going on? And then he says, and then the guy says, no, I'm asking, well, do you, did you know this guy personally? You know what I mean? Or then he says, well, do you know anybody that knew this Jesus guy? Personally, I mean, you met him, you know, or did, or did, or did your, did your father or your uncle your, know, your know him, your your grandpa, grandpa, know, this, know this guy personally? And they said, no, no, you don't understand, no, no, it's not, it doesn't work that way. It's Jesus, is, you know, it's 2,000 years old, blah, blah, blah. Then the guy says, well, if, 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 you, if your grandparents didn't know him and, you know, and your fathers didn't know him and I don't know him, then... Doesn't well, exist. Talk about it. <laughs> he went away, and I died laughing because yeah. it makes perfect sense. So I was, was saying some, some, some days here. I think yeah. we were talking with my school, and I said, "We've got, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, we've got. Uh, is it to go? What was it? Clan name? names. Clan names. Cause a clan names like uh, Majola." And the, the, the Chawe. Chawe and all that. Yeah. What was Jesus' clan name? Nobody knows. I was asking another Japi, oh, mm. uh, they get fed up once you ask them, how do you know this Jesus? And how do you know that he's coming back? Mm. They just become uh, and said, no, yeah, true. <laughs> 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 Always uh, give you a name. That they are satanic. They are uh, labeling you. They, oh, label they, they you. call your name. They, they call dim, you they dim light you because because uh, you know, they can't answer the question. They can't, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, thanks a lot. I just <laughs> 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 <laughs>